So, God. who here knows who this is? Hmm. Say it out. Come on, let me hear it. Yeah. Who, uh, what, what do people know about ferrets? Anyone? The stink? Oh, the big oh. We'll talk about that later. Any, they look like else? weasels. Uh, they, they do look like weasels. Anyone slash else? Mouse. If you hold them upside down and pet their belly, they, they yawn. They, they do, they That's yawn. That's very funny. Very cute. Oh I want one. Let me get one. Yes. Ferrets are great pets. But <laughs> <laughs> they yawn. For, for very uh, poor reasons, they are illegal in California. You're not allowed to own them. Um, Hello, my name is Forrester Merpin, and I'm a former ferret owner, and I've done a little, bit of research, a little bit of research on why ferrets are illegal in California, and I'm going to inform you on why they're illegal, uh, wrongly illegal, and why they make great pets. Um, the California Fish and Game Commission, uh, they make all the laws on uh, animals, wildlife or domestic, uh, have, have made them uh, illegal for several reasons. Uh, the first reason is that supposedly if, their, if ferrets are legalized as pets, they will escape and do a number of damage on uh, small livestock, such as chickens and turkeys and other things like that. This is just not true. Uh, according to Shelley Hudson, who, um, who runs the Nebraska uh, Ferrets uh, Rescue Foundation, ferrets have lost all, uh, domesticated ferrets have lost all survival instincts. They can't hunt, they can't even find water on their own in the wild. If a ferret was to uh, be released in the wild, it would last no less than three days. It, it might, uh, at worst, uh, find and hunt, kill a mouse, but if it, even if it killed it, it wouldn't know what to do with it. They, can't, they, don't, know what to, uh, they don't know enough to eat meat. Um, even if they lasted uh, three days uh, before starving, the elements would probably get them. They aren't very good at finding uh, places that are safe. Now, uh, the next slide. The reason this is is because ferrets uh, are one of the oldest domesticated pets. There's evidence of uh, domesticated ferrets as far back as 450 BC, but according to Susan A. Brown, a veterinarian, she says that the most reliable evidence uh, is as far back as 12,000 AD in places such as Germany, England, and Afghanistan, of all places. Now this painting here is, uh, does anyone know who, who uh, painted this? No. This is Leonardo da Vinci. Yes, that Leonardo da Vinci. He has painted, uh, he painted this picture with uh, a very rather muscular ferret there. Um, and it shows you that even way back then in Italy that ferrets were uh, pets. Now, uh, the next, next one, please. Now, the next reason that the, uh, the California uh, Fish and Game Commission has said that ferrets uh, should be illegal is that they will spread rabies. Now this is also another fallacy. Uh, according to the uh, CDC, the Central, Central, uh, Center for Disease Control, they uh, handle all the disease, uh, disease outbreaks in America. Um, in the year 2009, there were 300 cases of uh, cats with rabies. Now let's compare this to ferrets. Ferrets have had only 20 cases in the past 20 years in the whole world of rabies. Now, I'm no mathematician, but there's a little bit of a difference in those numbers, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Look at them, they're so cute, they're looking through the fridge. They don't even know what they're looking for. All right, next page. No way. Wow. So, ferrets are cute. They're damn cute. And they make good pets. Look at that. Look at how cute that ferret is. Just looking at you. But if my words not, uh, isn't enough for you, the MAFF, the Massachusetts Ferret Foundation, um, they work with uh, rescue ferrets in Massachusetts. Um, I've actually worked with them personally, so I know that they're very qualified to make statements like this. Um, they're very playful and fun, uh, fun to play with. Uh, they sleep 16 or more hours a day. So they're very low maintenance. Um, they sleep more than cats do. Um, they don't scratch or claw furniture, uh, so you don't need to worry about grandma's uh, old heirloom couch over there. And they live for 10 or more years if you take care of them. So they're, they're a pretty long time pet. They don't cause allergies, so you don't need to worry about being all stuffed up or breaking out the hives every time you pick up your ferret. And they're very easy to litter train. And again, I've had a ferret, so I can say that ferrets are very easy to litter train, trust me. Um, so, 
I actually had to give up my ferret when I moved to California. Uh, I moved here six years ago, and, uh, well, I had two ferrets named Precious and Snuggles. Yes, I was a very strange child. Um, and I had to give them up. Uh, I gave them to a, a friend of mine, and um, they took care of them after that. But I, we couldn't uh, bring them into California because they were illegal. And I think this is, it's very sad. You shouldn't, uh, a pet that is, you know, so cute and a good, a good pet and they don't harm the environment should not be illegal in California. Um, the law regarding uh, ferrets being illegal in California has to do with uh, exotic animals being imported into uh, California. And the other animals that, that are listed on uh, the illegal animal list are things like uh, howler monkeys and, you know, sugar monkeys and things like that. Uh, tigers are on that list too. Now, ferrets here, they're a domesticated animal. They are, they have been domesticated long enough to be a different species from their uh, closest, uh, their closest relative, which is the European polecat. While they can breed, which, um, but they can't produce fertile offspring, which is the uh, definition of a new species. So, now that I've talked to you a little bit, a little bit about the legalization of ferrets and why they are, they are wrongly illegal and uh, how they won't spread rabies or damage small livestock, um, I want to leave you with a hope. I hope that someday ferrets will be legal in California because they're wonderful pets. And I hope that if it does come up in conversation, like you just have a friend that really hates ferrets for some reason, you tell them, hey, ferrets are cool animals too. They should be illegal. They should be legal. <laughs> That's what I said. Thank you.